everyone. I'm Beth and welcome back to 50 Plus Beauty. I guess it's 50 Plus Beauty and Health today because I am going to be showing you what I eat in a day on a whole foods plant-based diet, starting with my smoothie. And I do make a protein smoothie. It's a vegan protein smoothie because it is pea powder protein, I believe that is in this protein powder, and I get this from Costco. I drink this smoothie in the morning before I go down to do my workout. As those of you who followed my channel, you know that I work out Monday through Friday on weights, and I do 20 minutes of cardio a day. And to make my smoothie, I will be using this Cuisinart, which I will link below. Okay, first what I do, and this is super easy, is I have frozen bananas here. And basically, whenever I go to the grocery store, I go ahead and get two different bunches of bananas. And when one gets a little old, I go ahead and break those into thirds. So that's a third of a banana there. And then I add frozen blueberries, which I do get from Costco. And I just use about a fourth to a half of a cup. I'll go ahead and do a half of a cup today. Just a couple of those. Sometimes they, they fall off of the cup and go all over my kitchen floor, which is no fun. But anyway, there are the blueberries. And then I add flaxseed. And I keep this in my canister set over there. And I just got this canister set. I really love it. And you're supposed to have two tablespoons of flax per day. This basically replaces fish oil. It is giving you omega-3s, which is great. And this is a two tablespoon scoop, which is the, the amount. And if I don't do a smoothie in the morning, I'll just add flaxseed to the cereal, which I have after my workout. And I'll be showing you that in just a few moments. Now let's go ahead, a lot of the time, I will add just a little bit of baby spinach leaves here. Again, it's pre-washed, very easy from Costco. It's gonna stick those down in there. Anytime you can sneak some greens in to your foods, that's a really good thing. Now let's add the protein powder. And again, this is a pea-based protein powder. And my brother, Les, who is a super healthy 62-year-old plant-based guy, who runs marathons and is on Nomads. He's amazing. I'll try to put a picture up there. But he turned me on to this plant-based protein powder from Costco. And two scoops of this are, let's see, how much is it? Two scoops of this have 21 grams of protein, which is great because I do try to keep watching my protein for sure. Now, another important thing in terms of protein is to use the right plant milk. And soy, you don't need to be afraid of, and ask me in the comments section if you'd like a video about this, but soy is absolutely great for us, no matter what you hear. But I use the Silk Soy Protein Milk because it has seven grams of protein naturally because it's a bean milk. I was using the almond milk, but it only had one gram of protein. So then I just go ahead and add soy milk on there. And it's kind of hard because the blueberries kind of stop it a little bit. There we go. I probably filled this a little bit too full, which I don't like to do because I don't like to overflow my little machine here. I had another machine and I kept overflowing it and it kind of got to smelling bad, so I have to be careful. Let's see, here we go. I filled that a little too, a little too full, but you just take this and that was the chopper blade in there. Just put it down here until it clicks, okay. And what I like to do to preserve my machine is, I'll hit the pulse button and then I'll hit high. <laughs> then I can give it a little pulse. <laughs> okay, smoothie is done. I could probably add a little bit more soy milk to that, but I think I'll go ahead and drink it just the way it is. And this is so good, I am not kidding you. And by the way, that protein powder is chocolate. My husband likes the vanilla, but I really like the chocolate because this is like a chocolate blueberry shake with bananas. Yum, that is amazing. And I have this in the morning and once in a while I'll have it for dessert in the evening before I go to bed. It is just wonderful. Okay, again, at this point in the day, I go downstairs and do my workout and then I come up and make my cereal, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, next it is time for my breakfast, which is cereal, and I use oatmeal. And for those of you who are curious, yes, I am using just raw oatmeal, and I use the old-fashioned oats, not the quick cooking, that's better for you. And I use half a cup of oatmeal, just throw that in there. And then I use these toasty O's, what are they called? No, they're called whole O's. It took me a long time to find these. 
first I was using Cheerios, but then I found out they're not a whole grain food. And obviously oatmeal is a whole grain food. And then these Toasty O's, Toasty O's, Whole O's, Whole O's, as the name implies whole, they are a whole grain food, the whole grain oat there. There we go, half a cup of those. Those are actually really good. And I ordered them in a big box from Amazon, about seven in a box, I think, either five or seven. Then I just add some raisins, just because they taste good. And an interesting fact about raisins, you would think that these were dark raisins, and the darker the fruit or the vegetable, the more antioxidants. But unfortunately, black raisins, even though these are black, they're actually green grapes. They just, through the drying process, they get darker. So actually, they're not the best for you, but you know, raisins are, are pretty good. And then I use either a whole banana or a half a banana. And since I just had a banana in the smoothie, I'm just using a half a banana here. I like to chop it in fourths because I really don't like the big, huge rounds of banana in my mouth. There we go. And so here's how the cereal looks at that point. And it's really very yummy. And I'll go ahead and add again my soy milk. Oh, well, let me go ahead and add a little flax. Even though I added the flax to my smoothie, just to show you how this works, I'm going to add just a little bit of flax to this. Again, this is plant-based omega-3s, which is really, really good for you. There we go. And that was right out of the, out of the bottle there. I get this from Amazon. So there we are with the flax seed on there. And I'll go ahead and add the soy milk. And again, this is seven grams of protein, and this is the unsweetened version. And it actually tastes really, really good. So there is that wonderful bowl of cereal. I do like to mix it in to where the flax seed isn't, you know, in my first bite necessarily. But look at that, it is so good. There we go. Mmm, that is very good. I got raisins and banana in that bite, and the whole O's really make the oatmeal taste better. You also could just use cooked oatmeal and do the same thing. Okay, now I'm ready for lunch, and normally I have a salad or a sandwich or soup or something like that. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite sandwiches plus the salad that I truly love. This is a super simple salad, and it is basically just finely chopped cauliflower and broccoli, and then it has a beautiful dressing, which is super easy to make kind of a mustard-based dressing with some apple cider vinegar and some maple syrup. So it is a wonderfully sweet dressing, which is always nice. And so basically, I'm just finally chopping this pretty quickly. Doesn't have to be in any particular, you know, way. Okay, this is a mess and I definitely need a larger cutting board. Usually I don't make quite so much. That was an entire head of cauliflower. But let me go ahead and put it in the bowl. There we go. There that is. And it is, you know, most of it's finely chopped. There's a few big pieces, but that does not bother me. Okay, next we'll go in with the cauliflower. And I buy this cauliflower at Costco. It's pre-washed, it's wonderful. Every week at Costco, I'm getting cauliflower and broccoli. I don't think I'll chop up quite so much because I realized the limitations to this cutting board. That is probably about all it can take. <laughs> so anyway, just finally chop the broccoli. Okay, here is the chopped up broccoli. It looks lovely, doesn't it? This is also a very pretty salad, but it is so good. Everyone loves it. You could definitely take this salad to a, a covered dish dinner, a potluck, something like that because people will love this. Plus, it just has that super fresh taste to it. Now I'm gonna mix it up with my knife here because I don't have a spoon right here. Next, I'm going to make the dressing and then I'll come back and show you the end result. Okay, now that we have the veggies all chopped, this is a very simple salad, I am making a very simple dressing and I always triple this because if I have too much for the veggies over there, I save it just for use on salads and it is wonderful. It starts out with Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother, whatever that means. Let me know in the comment section if you know what that means because I'm never really very sure. And it says three tablespoons, but I always triple it to nine tablespoons, which is roughly a half a cup, a little more than half a cup. 
maybe I should, maybe I should shake it up so some of that mother gets to the salad dressing. Let me know. That's kind of a curiosity to me about what that means with the mother. So we'll go ahead and add the half a cup or nine tablespoons, roughly, a little more, of the apple cider vinegar. Next, we go in with Dijon mustard. And I have not had good luck with Dijon mustard. I just don't like the taste. I prefer honey mustard. It's a little bit sweeter. And I just think it is really wonderful in recipes. And it says two tablespoons Dijon mustard. But again, I triple it to six tablespoons, which is roughly a third of a cup. Okay, there we go. There's the mustard. And there is the third of a cup. And I get this at Walmart. They also have a really good one at Target. Their market Marketplace, I think it's called brand. This doesn't want to come out. Okay, that is roughly a third of a cup, a little less than maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and take my little spatula and put that in. I love that honey mustard. It tastes so good. I use it on a lot of different things. There we go. And last, I add some maple syrup. This is 100% maple syrup. I believe this one is from, well, it says Kirkland's, but I think I got this at Walmart. And it says one tablespoon of maple syrup, and I use three. And again, I, I shouldn't take that off. I should just use the handy pour spout there. And that is roughly an eighth of a cup. An eighth of a cup, and then half of that again. There we go. It's about three tablespoons. Okay, here's how it looks there. There we go. And I'm going to get a whisk just to make it whisk up a little better. There we go. You just take it like this. Try to get that mustard off the side there. Okay, there we go. That is all whisked up. And I'll go get the vegetables and bring them back and we'll throw that together. Okay, now I have that lovely salad and the dressing. And I'm going to pour in just some of this dressing and see, see how far I get, maybe about half of it. It's a very liquidy dressing and it works with any kind of salad. There, it's being mixed up, ooh, yummy. I am a more girl, for sure. But I still have all of that left. Okay, here's that salad all mixed up and I'll go ahead and make the sandwich. Okay, the toast is done. And this is gluten-free whole grain toast. Can't remember the brand, but I'll list it in the comment section. It's very, very good. And that is going to make my sandwich, obviously. But first I need to go ahead and chop up a lemon because part of this sandwich uh, recipe includes the juice of a fresh lemon and it really just makes everything taste wonderful. So I'll just quarter those lemons there, get them ready. This is a cucumber sandwich, so I will start by slicing the cucumbers pretty thin. Okay, the cucumbers are sliced, and I'll go ahead and put them over here in a Tupperware. And I'm about to buy a set of glass Tupperware. I guess it wouldn't be Tupperware, but I'm really not liking storing all of these veggies in plastic. Okay, let's go ahead and get the cutting board out of the way. Now I'm going to put the sandwich together. And here we go. And it starts with the Cedars fat-free hummus. And since I am watching my heart and want to be very heart healthy, I am doing the fat-free hummus, which was hard to find. I got this at Whole Foods. I use this basically as a replacement for mayonnaise in lots of different dishes. And I pile it on because I really love the taste of hummus. Chickpeas are wonderful. Chickpeas are your friend when you're whole foods plant-based. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put some of these cucumbers on top. And at this point, you can either add spinach leaves or you can add alfalfa sprouts or any kind of sprouts. And I have the spinach leaves, so I'll go ahead and add the spinach leaves. And these are totally washed from Costco and they're totally cheap. It's like $4 for all of these wonderful spinach leaves. There we go. Probably should have added the mustard first, but we'll go ahead and do it this way since I started it out this way. Next, we'll come in with some honey mustard, which I think is really wonderful. I get this from Walmart, as I mentioned before. 
in the salad dressing. So there we are there. And if you like, you can use some Mrs. Dash seasoning salt or just a lemon. And I'm just going to use a little lemon here to get a little lemon drizzled on there. So, okay, this is my finished lunch plate with the salad and the open-faced sandwiches. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bite of the salad. Can't see the dressing on it, but it's definitely there. Mmm, that is so good. That is one thing that is kind of in short supply in a whole foods plant-based diet is that sweet taste. And that maple syrup plus that honey mustard combines to make a beautifully sweet dressing, which is wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this open face sandwich. Here we go. Mmm, that is so good. So that is a wonderful lunch, one of my favorites. And for dessert after a lunch like this, I'll either have an apple, and I prefer the honey crisp apples because they're very, very sweet, very good eat on its own apple. Also, this is what I use to make the apple crisp that I'll show you later today or I'll finish it off with a cup full of cherries, which is just wonderful. Okay, now it's time to make veggie stir fry. That's what we're making for dinner is veggie stir fry and it is super easy. And again, it is made from Costco Asian vegetables, frozen Asian vegetables. Here is a look at them. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and heat up the pan and I have it on a medium, high medium heat, medium high heat. And we're going to go ahead and chop up one medium onion. Here's one medium onion. Let's go ahead and do that. And I have this wonderful Victorinox knife, which is super, 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 super sharp. My brother, who is a 10 year vegan, said, Beth, you really do need to get some Victorinox knives because they are so much sharper and it makes your chopping, which you have to do a lot of as a whole foods plant-based person, it makes chopping super, super easy. And one thing I won't warn you about, they are a lot sharper. And I noticed in the first week of starting to use these knives, I actually cut myself twice. So you really do have to be careful. These are like no knives you've ever used in that they chop just easily and beautifully, including your own fingers, which is not necessarily good. Well, it's not even not necessarily good, it's not good. I also got new cutting boards because I had plastic cutting boards and there is some evidence that shards of plastic from cutting boards are not good for you. Not sure the science on that. And what I'm going to do is instead of using oil because I want a heart healthy diet, I am using veggie broth to cook the onions in, to saute the onions in just a little bit. And the stove is good and hot. And then I'll just bring the onions over here. Ooh, that is hot. I'm really starting to like cooking more since I became a whole foods plant-based eater. You kind of have to become a cook if you're going to be on this eating plan. So then we'll just kind of take down. I think I'll add a little more, a little more of the veggie broth. And I'm going to go ahead and let that cook while I make the sauce. Okay, the first step in the sauce is to mince up one teaspoon of ginger. And I'll just go ahead and do this. Again, this knife is pretty good at getting things nice and chopped finely, which is great. Okay, now I'll take about one teaspoon of this, the most finely chopped parts. There we go, I'll do a little more. Then we put in two cloves of garlic, and I always just use the organic minced garlic. It just makes it a lot easier than cutting up the garlic every time. And each clove is like one teaspoon. So I'll go ahead and put about a teaspoon in. There we go. A little away from me there. Close enough. Approximations are okay. The next ingredient is two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, and again, the lower you go in your salt, the better it is for your heart. So two tablespoons, there's one, there's two. Awesome. Now the next ingredient is one tablespoon of organic brown rice syrup. However, I have used this in several vegan Asian recipes and I don't like it. It doesn't have a sweet enough taste to it to me. 
So I instead use the Kirkland brand of maple syrup. You can actually get this pretty much anywhere, but it's pure maple syrup. I don't think this is organic. Yes, this is organic, which is good. So I'll go ahead and put in one tablespoon of the syrup. Again, it was a little more than that, and that's just fine. Okay, I have a fork, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up. A little bit of soy sauce here. There we go, the Asian sauce is made. Okay, next we're going to be adding in the sauce mixture into the pan. We'll give that a little stir there. And then we'll go ahead and add our Asian veggie mix. And we'll go in with about three cups of this. One. I think we need a few more than three cups. It doesn't look like very much, does it? Two. I think I'll do another, another cut, just to be on the safe side. There we go. And this is supposed to cook for five to seven minutes to get those vegetables to be thawed out. Okay, it's been five to seven minutes and it looks really good. As you can see there, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. It looks very, very yummy. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it over to plate it up. And I have my dessert here and here are my Asian vegetables. And I've gone ahead and made some rice right in here. And you wanna take a look at that, honey? It looks wonderful. And I'll just go ahead and get some rice on the plate. It has been on warm for about the last half an hour. That is brown rice because that makes it a whole grain, which is very good for you. I'll just go ahead and put some there. Then I'll go ahead and get some of the, some of the Asian stir fry vegetables here. And probably I would just bring in the salad. We have leftover salad from the lunch salad I made. That would be a very good side on this. Okay, here we go. I'll go ahead and get one of the vegetables there. Got some snow peas, which is wonderful. A little mushroom there. Oh, it's really hot. I hope it's not too hot. Mmm. That is very good. You can taste the ginger, you can taste the soy sauce, and I really think the addition of the maple syrup is much better than the brown rice syrup. Very, very good. Now we have a little dessert here, and I'll try that for you. Here is the apple crisp. And can you see the apple crisp there, honey? Cool. And we'll just take a little serving here. I'll go ahead and just use this fork from dinner here, but I'll take a little bite of the apple crisp. Here we go. And these are honey crisp apples, which I find to be the best for this recipe. I've probably made this recipe seven or eight times. It's wonderful. Mmm, that is very, very good. You can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the nutmeg, and the oatmeal really makes a nice crunchy topping, which is just wonderful. Well, thank you for being here with me today to show you what I eat in a day. And these are all very representative, especially the breakfast, the smoothie, and the lunch. Although a lot of times with the lunch, I'll do a salad bar or something like that, make it pretty, pretty easy. Now, in terms of my thought for the day, I have really been doing lots of thinking about my second half and the fact that in our first half, most of us were so busy with so many to-do list items that you know, just getting through the day was pretty much good for us. And in the second half, I realized that my days are numbered. And I really want to make each day count. So I've really been focusing on, at all times through the day, when I remember it, being where my feet are, to where I really realize that this is my life. This is my life right now. It's not yesterday or last week or two years in the future. It is right now. We each need to really enjoy where we are at each moment in life. And one of the ways we have been kind of increasing our enjoyment is that my husband, Alan, who is behind the camera, he hates to be in front of the camera, but he's wonderful. He actually used to be in TV production, so this is wonderful that he's able to do that for me sometimes, but he also really loves music, and I love being with him. So what we have been doing lately is that every night before we eat dinner, he will choose a song, either a fast song, if we're kind of in a fun mood, or a slow song, and we dance in the kitchen just for one song. And it is something that really means a lot to me. Last night, we danced to a man named Zuccaro, who's an Italian pop star that we both really, really love. 
and I was just holding on to my husband and I just felt like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so lucky to have him. I'm so lucky to be in this lovely house and this lovely kitchen with a dinner in front of us and a beautiful husband to dance with. Life doesn't get much better than that. And if you'd like to share in the comment section those ways in which you slow your life down and really appreciate things, I think we would all love to read those comments because that's the way we help each other by sharing what works for us. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.